I'll never forget this day as long as I live. William Hines is the senior vice commander for the Pennsylvania Disabled American Veterans. His feelings were shared by many in attendance at the annual 9-11 Mass and Memorial Program that was held last week in the city of Hazleton. Many Americans remember exactly where they were and what they were doing on that horrific day. I can remember being in high school, uh, watching it take place on TV. The teachers all put it on in our high school and uh, it's just hard to believe. It's really hard to believe it's been 18 years too, but the fact that there is remembrance that goes on and that the victims will never be forgotten, that's a good feeling. I was home ill and uh, from work and when I tr had the television on, the news came on, it was absolutely, uh, it's hard to describe that our country could be under attack and it could be so evil to, you know, attack citizenry. Uh, people at work, people who are working hard to make this nation what it is. And that is the reason why this memorial has been held each year since the attacks. Hazelton City Councilman and volunteer firefighter Tony Colombo, who was a paramedic back in 2001, had volunteered to help in New York City that day. But because the mission quickly changed from rescue to recovery, his services were not needed. But he made a promise to keep the memory of those lost alive in our minds and hearts here in the Hazelton area each and every year. This is a day that we said it started off this morning. Uh, everybody had chills because it was 18 years ago. The day started out just like that day did. It was a gorgeous sunny day. Skies were clear and blue. Uh, last night I was laying in bed thinking that 18 years ago that night people went to bed didn't realize that was going to be the last day they woke up the next day and here we are. As in previous years, local firefighters, police, state police and other first responders all gathered to pay their respects to the lives lost in the three attacks in New York, at the Pentagon and in a field near Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Hazelton Fire Chief Donald Leshko says the effects are still felt today. We lost 343 firefighters that day. Uh, along with countless, uh, many thousands of uh, citizens, uh, police officers, uh, EMS workers, you know, so many people were affected. And, you know, back in 2001, 18 years later, we still, uh, our, our brother firefighters are still facing the effects of that day. Uh, we're still losing brother firefighters due to the effects of working on a pile that day. Uh, you know, and they're doing, they're doing their job. They, you were not going to make them leave or get them to leave that pile until they made sure their brothers went home. One person who witnessed the devastation that day and who ran towards it, Hazleton Police Chief Jerry Speziali, who was a New York City police officer at that time. This is such a unique class of humanity. The firefighters, the EMS, the police officers, the state police, everyone band together. While September 11, 2001 was one of the worst days in our lifetime, Chief Leshko says that the next day showed what America is truly all about. You know, we also hope that our country would go back to, as I, as I was reading today, to uh, September 12, 2001. Where there was so much pride or so much patriotism. Our, our country needs to go back to that. You know, you would hope that that would continue to occur and build in this country. There's so much, you know, we see in the, in the effects of everybody's against each other and, and there's nobody. You know, we're all U.S. citizens. We're all in this country together. We're all here for the common good and we're all here to be one. And, and that's why I think the, the importance of taking, you know, what happened on September 11th, uh, that we continue to never forget our brothers and sisters, but we also fight for a better nation and a stronger nation. You know, Donald talked about the next day after, how flags were flying, but realize that day when it occurred, it was everyone coming from all over the country to help us. We never felt alone. The most difficult thing is, is think of the 343 firefighters. When they go into the firehouse, they take their shoes off. There were 343 pairs of shoes that were empty at the end of the day. And then the police officers, all the lockers, because they change. There were all those empty lockers. One of the speakers who addressed the crowd was Bob Morgan, Deputy Chief of Staff and District Director for Congressman Matt Cartwright. He told a heart-wrenching story of a friend who was semi-retired and only went into the office in the World Trade Center about three times a month. Sadly, one of those days was September 11th. 
And as that friend, Timothy O'Sullivan, and others descended the stairs in the World Trade Center to escape. As they were coming down the stairs, Tim was uh, starting to suffer some chest pain. And so as a way of kind of moving the crowd along, and the people that worked with him were told as a firefighter was coming up, don't worry, this is my job, I'll help out here. And that's what I do. And he said, and you know, please move along. That's the best that we can all do for each other. And so those remaining uh, sets of stairs, uh, Tim walked down and, and was, was carried down, I think, you know, part of the time by someone who we had never met. And so I think we would all love to think that we would do that. But, you know, in that situation, he met someone who would. Some people I spoke with fear that too many Americans have already forgotten what transpired that terrible day. This church should be filled, for starters. Uh, when it first happened, it was filled. Now, we're becoming lax. We can never become lax in this situation, ever. While Tony Colombo came up with the idea for this memorial in 2001, he also believes September 11th should become a national day of remembrance all across the United States. I think it should be a day that all government offices are closed and uh, services throughout the country are held for this 9-11 memorial service and it should be a day that we take time and remember in silent prayer. Uh, if you can't make a mass or a service, watch it on TV or else just pause and remember tomorrow's not promised to none of us. Reporting from Hazleton for SSP-TV News, I'm Lisa Sugart.